Hey, what's going on guys? This is Michael Rankin from Mikey Joe Fit, and we're here with Chris Dim again. Make sure you guys check out last week's video where Chris gives a little backstory about his life and what he's been through. And today we're going to be talking about a bulletproof mindset. So Chris, what is a bulletproof mindset? Would you say bulletproof biceps? <laughs> just say this guy every time he's just puffing up on me. Making no, you know what? Little. Yeah, no. Be, being all serious, we're talking about a bulletproof mindset. What is a bulletproof mindset? It can mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people. But the biggest thing is, you know what? Is having something set and not willing to waver from it. So, what is it that you really want? Well, you know, what you want and what your bulletproof mindset all kind of works together. So, a lot of time is is. You know, what is going to set your mind so strong that, 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 that you really, really want it? What is it? It's kind of like when you're a kid, you know, you want that bike. And you're not willing, you, you're doing everything you can to get that bike. You're not, you know, no matter what's going to take place, you're willing to save for it. You're willing to basically, you know, um, you know save up with a bottle, no, no matter what it is, okay? Have that same mindset as you get older, too. What is it that you really want that you want to go ahead and basically not willing to waver from? That basically is how you're going to keep your mindset strong, is keep it so strong. Well, how do you, ask yourself this question first. How do you keep it so strong, therefore, no matter what's going to be thrown at you, nothing is going to go ahead and basically, it, it's like, it's like that, that, that uh, shield. You have that shield on, you're not willing to basically let anything block you from getting into it. You know, you got that little bubble that you're not willing to let anybody burst through it. That's what you got to do is keep it so strong, but I can't answer that question for you. You got to be able to basically answer that question yourself. What is it is going to keep my bulletproof mindset basically so strong where well, nothing can go ahead and get in or, and I'm going to keep it so strong. It's kind of like, you know, putting a, a, a penny in your hand. You're holding it so tight, you're not willing to let anybody get, come in, right? Well, that's the exact same thing. That's what you got to do is keep that mindset so strong. You're not willing to give up. You're not willing to basically waver from it. And you're not willing to let anybody, anything block you from getting it. That's good stuff, man. It sounds like uh, when you were talking, when I thought about what I was picturing in my head, it's kind of like a force field. You know, you kind of like put a force field around your mind so just nothing can get into it. And uh, what, did, what are some things you did, Chris, to kind of develop that? Where, that, where does that strength come from? To where to develop that mindset to you know, get after your goals. You know, for me is is um, you know those of you who don't know my story is I came down as a refugee from Cambodia. I grew up around a killing field, so coming down as a refugee and being in the United States since you know the age of five or six, I don't remember exactly what it was. Um, it was so different for us because the value of what we had, you know. So I think the value of what we had is what kept me basically wanting whatever I want and not willing to waver from it because. We grew up so poor, we grew up, you know, we had 12 of us in a two bedroom apartment. Mm -hmm. So we really didn't have a lot growing up. And so I told my mom that when I, when, when I, when I got older, I was gonna be somebody, I was gonna do something special. And that mindset that kept in my mind and not willing to basically leave, and I'll probably keep that same mindset until I, until I pass away. Um, you know, basically I'm gonna be some, someone and basically do something special. And I think that really is going to keep me so strong where, you know, n no one's going to shake that off of me. Because growing up, wrestling as a 98-pound weakling, uh, when I told, told everybody I was going to be a bodybuilder, they, they laughed at me. But I knew exactly what I, I, I see. I knew exactly what I wanted. You know, I knew exactly what I picture. And because I picture it so strong, I wasn't willing to let anybody get through that picture and destroyed me and basically, you know, uh, laughed at me and do anything that... that that is going to stop me from getting what I want. That's great info, guys. Uh, one quick point, Chris, uh, before we go is you kind of touched on it right there. What do you do uh, against like the naysayers? What do you? How do you guard your mind from the people saying you're not going to do it? Or that's foolish. Or that's stupid. Why are you going after that? What do you do to kind of not let that get you down? I think a lot of times the success is the best revenge. <laughs> you know, so yeah, so if if someone really is laughing at you. Someone says you're never going to do it. You know, it's kind of like, I think the biggest thing is I've always been smart enough to, even though I grew up from a poor neighborhood and uh, basically I grew up what you call a ghetto, you know, <laughs> uh, but I, I just knew that I've always hung around with people that are successful. I always hung around people that wanted something. Kind of like if you, if you tell, you know, you grew up in the ghetto and you go tell your ghetto friend says, I'm going to be a millionaire and they laugh at you, wouldn't they, right? But try go ahead and telling successful people that, that you're going to be a millionaire. They're going to help you. 
They're going to support you. They're going to hold your hand. So be around people that are going to take you where you need to go. That's really, that's really it. I think that's perfect, man. Thanks a lot, brother. I think that's good for this one, guys. Uh, next week, we're going to be talking about finding your why. Finding that driving force is going to help you achieve those goals. So make sure to like, comment, and share this video. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my Facebook fan page of Mikey Joe Fit. I'm going to post Chris's website in the description box below. Make sure you check that out, guys. Fantastic information. Unbelievable intro video to get you guys fired up for your day. And uh, that's it for today. So I'll talk to you guys soon. This is great, guys. And we're going to keep on going on. We're going to keep on doing this. And we got more information coming. It, it, you know, to, uh, next week, we're going to talk about basically our, our why. But it will continue. And if you just stick with the video, you're going to see a lot more from us. You're going to see uh, workout videos. You're going to basically see supplement you know, tips. You're going to see everything you need to basically keep yourself mentally and physically strong all together. So that, guys, peace out. Thank you.